hello viewer welcome to my channel so today we'll talk about proxy and different type of proxy so before jumping into the proxy let's first understand one use case suppose we have a client here it is having a ip of 1.2.3.4 and between we have internet and we have here we have a youtube server which is having the ip of 4.5.6.8 so now the client wanted to watch the video so he will send a request to the internet and the client will know the ip of the youtube server so client will send the request message for YouTube server like 4.5.6.8 it is a server IP and the client IP will be 1.2.3.4 right so same request will be now reached to the server now server will receive the client IP as well from where the request is coming from so request is coming from 1.2.3.4 now the server will send back the response for the client right Pawn for 1.3.4 that is the client IP the server will receive the response of that particular message so it will will have the client IP as well for which this response is came and from the where the response is came 4.5.6.8 from the YouTube server. So now the client know the server address and the server know also the client address right. So this is how the one flow is working but let's hold on for a minute and let's think about that what will be the cause of knowing the address of each other right. Suppose this client is knowing the address of YouTube server and if it is a right user then there is a no problem problem but suppose if there is a hacker is get to know about the YouTube server then what he can do he can do the DDoS attack means he can put malicious lot of requests right to the internet for this server so this server will start getting lot of requests and it will this server will get down so the real user will not get the service from the youtube.com right so that is the first problem DDoS attack can increase on this scenario second is suppose this client is from school system right and you wanted to restrict some site for him like he should not search Facebook on the school computer or YouTube he can access only the library content right so this site you wanted to block it so and the only library content you want to give access from the school system so how you wanted to do it right these are the few problem which can be addressed via using the proxy so what are the benefits we will getting here so first will be the client anonymity so the server will not get the know about the where the requests are coming from and we can block a certain site also from the request when the uh, request is coming from the client and the third one can hide the server IP address as well from the client so let's see in the detail how proxy will work so this is the basic example and why we need a proxy so there is a two type of proxy first one is a forward proxy or it's a proxy we can say directly and second one we have a reverse proxy so in forward proxy we have a group of clients right clients will be pointing to the forward proxy so each client request will go to the forward proxy and the all the requests from the forward proxy will be forwarded to the internet so suppose this first line 1.2.3.4 wanted to open the gmail.com so he will send a request for a gmail.com to the forward proxy by sending his IP address as well from the request is coming but when the request is received by the forward proxy he will add his IP address behalf of client right behalf of client in place of client he will add his IP address it means he is asking for that particular service from gmail.com so his IP address will be sent to the gmail server and he will return the response for the gmail server for this proxy so this response will be returned to the this proxy server and proxy server will again transfer that response back to the client so this is how the forward proxy is gonna work so in behalf of the client it will receive the request from the client and it will forward the request to the internet and again from the internet back when they get the response will transfer the request back clients so what are the benefit we will get by using the forward proxy. So first one we will block the certain content to be accessed. Suppose this is a corporate uh, group of machines or it's a school machine. So we can block certain content here right to what to be accessed and what to be not accessed in forward proxy. Second the client anonymity will also be, will be there. So if these IPs 1.2.3.4 will not be revealed to the server it only the forward proxy IP will be revealed to the server and third one will get we can also cache the response. Suppose sub, some content we want to cache it so we can directly return from the proxy itself and next we can do the logging and monitoring like what are the traffics are transferring from the client machines right so we can do all 
all those operations in the proxy and what are the examples of the forward forward proxies are squid tor these are the forward proxy example so now let's check about the reverse proxy this is the second type of a proxy so here we have a group of clients here right and now this client will know the ip address of reverse proxy it will not know the ip address of the server directly so we have a group of servers here right and in front of this server we have a reverse proxy so this 6.7.8.9 having the reverse proxy address and it is kind of a suppose it is a youtube server youtube.com right and if the client wanted to access the youtube.com he need to give the ip address of a proxy so request from the client request will come to the internet for requesting the 6.7.8.9 server that is a proxy address it will receive the request and then it will transfer that particular request to the any of the servers which can serve the request right and it will transfer again back to the response so in this scenario the client will not to know the actual server ip IP address so server IP address will be anonymous to the client right and why we use a reverse proxy in front of these servers right so we definitely will get some benefits that's why we use a reverse proxy so first benefit will get server anonymity means client will not get to know about the server IP address and the second one will get the load balancing benefit so suppose we are getting so many requests from the internet then at the reverse proxy we can distribute the load among these servers right and the third one we can cast the content like audio video we heard about cdn right content delivery network in that we cast the static content so if if you want to cast the uh, video file audio file or anything which is the static content one type is of the reverse proxy will be the cdn is the example of the reverse proxy and other things we can also cache it in the reverse proxy and it can also protect from the ddos attack if suppose uh, even the malicious you user is giving us so many requests to this particular uh, server youtube.com then in that case all the request will come to the reverse proxy and we can implement the rate limiter we can block the after certain request for that particular ip address and everything so the original server will not get any impacted right so this is how we going to protect from the ddos attack and after that ssl encryption decryption or tls handshake everything can be done in the reverse proxy itself so we can free up the original resources so that original resources will be free for the performing the other tasks right and what are the options we have in the market for the reverse proxy nginx apache and ha proxy are the example for the reverse proxy so this is all about the proxy so i hope you like the video please do subscribe my channel to get to know more about the system design topics